Hey, this is Nate Story with Bright Agritech, and today we're going to talk a little bit about strawberries. So it's been a while since the last strawberry video. Actually, I think it's been several years. And uh, we wanted to come back to the topic because this time of year, everyone's got questions about strawberries. Everyone wants to grow them. They're a crowd favorite. And of course, knowing how to do it, knowing what you can get is a really important thing. So these are Seascape. These are uh, the same strawberries that I did my research on way back in the day. And um, they're a really great strawberry. They're ever bearing. So there's two main types of strawberries you need to be concerned about. That's ever bearing varieties or day neutral varieties as, and uh, June bearing. So as a grower, ever bearing are usually the better strawberries to grow because they're gonna produce year round uh, once they get, uh, once they hit maturity, once they get productive, right? So um, these are all started from rootstock. You're not gonna start them from seed. You're gonna order in rootstock from a supplier. You're gonna plant that rootstock in your towers. And uh, we've got a separate video, I think, uh, talking about how to do that. But um, yeah, they grow great in towers. They do very well. You're gonna plant your rootstock in the towers. It's gonna um, form some, uh, some leaves very quickly. And you're gonna wanna pinch back your flowers for about the first four to six weeks. And what that's doing is it's forcing the plant to put all of that uh, energy and growth potential into growing um, leaves, the vegetative uh, production, right? So you're growing leaves, you're growing uh, roots, you're growing kind of the biomass that's going to support your fruit production down the road. After about six weeks, you're going to let it start flowering, it's going to start producing fruit, and it should produce fruit for many, many months. So um, basically from the time you plant to the time you can start harvesting and selling or eating uh, strawberries, you're looking at um, at least two months maybe three months, depending on how uh, far you want to push it. Uh, the yield is pretty good. The uh, plants that I was doing, I was usually doing about uh, nine to 10 plants per tower, and I was getting around a 10th of a pound per tower per day. So uh, in a 10 tower system, that's about a pound of strawberries a day. That's a lot of strawberries, uh, once they're really healthy and cracking along. So um, pH range wise, these strawberries like high fives up to the high sixes, so six, Six five six uh, five six five seven all the way up to around six seven six eight. They'll tolerate anything in that range. Um, lower pH is usually a little bit better with those. Uh, they do like a lot of light, but they don't like to be too hot. So keep that in mind. It's important to put them in a cooler part of your greenhouse. If you overheat them, um, you're going to have spider mite issues, and there there are probably some spider mites on these. And you're also um, going to have uh, lower yields because they just don't like the heat. Um, they can get pretty bushy. These ones are pretty small. They're pretty, they're, they're not very large plants. Uh, the ones that I've grown in the past will actually cover the entire tower. They will get very large when they're grown in the right conditions. So keep that in mind. They can be a pretty heavy crop at the end of the day. Um, pests on strawberries, you can have, uh, you know, thrips are very common. And uh, the, the one that I've had the most with strawberries is spider mites. And these things drive me nuts, but there's very, uh, there aren't a whole lot of great ways to deal with them besides just using a miticide. Okay, so an insecticide that it targets the mites directly. And there are a few of them out there, so uh, make sure you kind of look around um, and pick one that's, that's right for your growing system. Uh, that's about all you need to know about strawberries. Hopefully this video is useful to you. If you have questions, leave them below. Check out the blog and check out, check out our website, zipgrow.com, for more information on growing strawberries and other crops in Zipgrow Towers. Mm -hmm.